Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the recent rollout of Microsoft Edge version 128, which rolled out last week, which I posted on, and that video will be linked down below and in the end screen, Microsoft rolled out a couple of Edge Bar improvements for Microsoft Edge on Windows 10, because Edge Bar is only available on Windows 10 devices. Now, as I mentioned in that video, if we click on the little gear icon at the bottom of the sidebar, this is the new option Microsoft um, rolled out to um, enable Edge Bar from the actual settings. And Edge Bar, as the name implies, um, is basically a desktop widget similar to what we had back in Windows um, 8. And uh, um, you can access your Copilot and your quick shortcut buttons like your tools and so on um, from the actual desktop on Windows 10. If you are using these features on a day-to-day -day basis, then that may be a handy little feature. Now, once again, as I mentioned in that video, there were a couple of uh, features that were on a controlled rollout that um, I hadn't received yet. And Microsoft said that they were on a controlled feature rollout for the Edge Bar and hadn't made it yet uh, into my region. So if you hadn't seen these, just to let you know, that Edge Canary has all of the features that should be gradually rolling out to the stable version in regards to the Edge Bar. So I thought I'd just go through this to give you a good idea as more or less what to expect um, when these do make their way officially into your stable version of Microsoft Edge. Now this is in Edge Canary 130 which is the latest preview version. So the first change that was on a controlled rollout for Edge Bar was if we head to the settings once again and enable Edge Bar in Edge Canary, was the ability to automatically open Edge Bar when the device starts. So that's the first. So if you want Edge Bar to be placed on your desktop when you start up Windows, that's the setting that you will um, toggle on. And obviously, if you don't want that, you toggle that off. So that's the first. And then the close X icon here to the bottom of the sidebar or the edge bar, the close X icon has been moved below the ellipsis menu or the three dotted menu. So we can see that. So you can close the edge bar by clicking on that. So that's the next change that is still on a controlled feature rollout. And then the, the next one when edge bar is enabled is that Copilot in Edge will um, remain within the browser and not in the edge bar. So we can see that Copilot is still in the browser and is not in the edge bar, where if we head over to stable, that is not the case. Um, yeah, in stable, if we just, yeah, in stable, if we just enable the edge bar, we can see that it stays in the edge bar. So that's the difference, another difference. So those are a couple of uh, new changes and improvements. I just wanted to bring to your attention um, in case you were expecting to see these roll out. And I noticed today that all of those um, uh, new improvements and add-ons to the Edge Bar on a controlled rollout were already available in Canary. So that's it. The auto start feature is available. The X has been moved below the um, three-dotted menu. And um, the other one is that Copilot it remains in the browser and is not on the desktop, which I actually think is nice. So you've just got those quick shortcut buttons and Copilot remains in the actual browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.